live from Nashville, Tennessee, it's theCUBE. Covering Commvault Go 2018. Brought to you by Commvault. Welcome back to theCUBE's first time in Nashville, Tennessee, here at Commvault Go. I'm Stu Miniman with my co-host, Keith Townsend, and happy to welcome back to the program, Dave Klemkin, who's the Global Sales Director with Cisco. Dave, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. This is great. All right, so uh, we, we, we've been talking this morning with some of the Commvault executives, and ecosystem and partnerships are, of course, really important. Uh, where, where, where they sit, uh, they're a software company, uh, they you know, work with partners to do appliances, uh, and they've, they've had a partnership with Cisco for, for a while now, uh, but been some updates. So maybe give us your viewpoint about the, the partnership itself, and uh, you know, give us the news that was announced uh, this week of the show. Yeah, so, um Commvault is a, is a kind of a critical partner for us, so it leads to us doing like more of a portfolio sales approach, which is um, important when we're out competing in the marketplace. And if you look at, um, from a Cisco perspective, we sell you know, converge infrastructure solutions, we sell hyper-converged solutions, they run co companies mission critical business applications. And in the past, we hadn't really you know, uh, participated in that data management part of the business, and that's really one of our key core uh, pillars going forward, and Commvault is a, a key partner, uh, especially in the enterprise space, is, is where we, uh, we think we can really be successful. Yeah. Dave, drill us in a little bit more. You know, I think of Cisco. I mean, Cisco really drove that converged infrastructure marketplace. When you talk about the, the partnerships uh, with, with, with IBM, uh, with, with the, the VCE, uh, you know, Dell EMC uh, activity, uh, and many other storage partnerships. I mean, this is you know, billions and billions of dollars of the foundational layer uh, for lots of enterprises around the globe. So data, of course, a critical component of that. Um, why do Commvault and other partners like that, you know, what, what do they mean to that overall solution? What, what's the, what are you hearing from your customers? So, um, so in this part of the Converge infrastructure business, um, I mean, we have you know, um, a lot of key partnerships, and um, from a Cisco perspective, we own about 60% of the server part of that business. So we're really the market leader in that area of the business. And, uh, what we're seeing though is our customers are looking for more than just that. So they're looking for us to expand into other areas. So it could be um, analytics, it could be data management, it could be you know, IOT, uh, and those are all really critical. When you think about um, probably the past decade or so, I would say, um, we see you know, uh, an infrastructure-led kind of part of the business where customers stored vast amounts of, of data, but they didn't really use it. And today, what we're seeing is really the applications and data are king. We're seeing that customers want to gain valuable business insights. They're looking to you know, gain competitive advantage. They have to protect the privacy uh, of, of, their, of that data. So you think about things like GDPR and other global regulations. Uh, you think about um, big data, and, but now artificial intelligence is really taking off. The intelligent edge with IOT and analytics, again, to, you know, competitive, to use that data competitively. So um, again, we think it's more of an infrastructure-led world where we're really data is kind of that new oil. All right, so we, we, we know Cisco has a lot of partners. Commvault has a lot of partners. Uh, the branding that you have together, if I understand it, Scale Protect. It is. Just give us the thumbnail. Why does you know, one plus one Scale Protect equal more than the sum of the parts? Yeah, so, um, so with Scale Protect, I mean, we have, so I mean, there's a couple things. It's, it's Cisco and Commvault going in to, to offer a complete data management solution. It uh, provides that seamless scalability. It uh, also, what it does is it, um, it provides us the ability to kind of um, scale and simplify the customer experience. If you look at kind of legacy kind of data protection or data management solutions, you have lots of touch points, lots of activities, lots of configuration, lots of room for error to go on. So if we can use um, best practices and really optimize that performance to scale seamlessly, that really provides a customer, I think, with a much better solution than you're going to get you know, in kind of the old legacy or, or even uh, you know, if people are selling things differently. So Dave, let's talk about some of the drivers behind the deepening of the partnership and Cisco bringing a complete data management solution with both Commvault and Cisco to customers. You mentioned, obviously, uh, compliance, 
uh, data recovery, DR, are important things, but what about this data movement theme, uh, uh, theme that we heard this morning on a show floor where customers want this flexibility between on-prem and off-prem public cloud, private cloud? Sure. So, so we see, you know, we see lots of customers talking about, you know, uh, moving data, moving workloads, even moving data centers to the public cloud, and um, and what we see at Cisco and what we even see IDC kind of supporting is that 90% of our customers are really in a multi-cloud world. And when you talk to a customer, you're probably going to hear them talk about you know, two or three uh, you know, private clouds. They're going to talk about, uh, we have customers that have three you know, public cloud um, you know, uh, vendors, hybrid cloud, SaaS environments. So when you look at that, we see the kind of like, what we call is the new normal or distributed data center, where you have applications and workloads spread across all these different environments and platforms. And, what, and some of the key things that, you know, from a Cisco perspective is, what ties all that together? It's the network, it's foundational. Um, obviously that's a core competency of Cisco, it's where we excel. It's, you know, they talked about performance today, and it's where performance is critical. So being able to get data in and out of those environments is just really important. So we have data, and we have data. We have the transport of data, which Cisco is obviously uh, an expert in helping you get data from point A to point B. Sure. Then we have the data, the storing of the bits. So talk to us about what cust how customers have benefited from that complete Cisco story coming from using Commvault to help at that storage layer, and then Cisco at that both compute uh, in the data center and uh, the network layer, that, that connection between the data center and the public cloud. What unique value is Cisco bringing to customers? So, I mean, so we have the ability to do uh, a number of things. So, customers are going to look at, you know, I mean, what are the two th key things that customers are looking at? It's data and applications. And when they look at data, they have to kind of decide, you know, where, uh, where and how do I want to store it? They want to, under they have to understand how am I going to, um, how am I going to manage all the growth? How am I going to protect it across all these environments? So we have the ability, you know, with Cisco to, uh, you know, to go ahead with primary storage to, to manage that. With secondary storage, we can manage it on-prem. And we, you know, obviously have the network that can connect people to, you know, their various private and public clouds as well. And so that's, that's really our key, I think our key value proposition. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're director of sales. Who, who's, who are you having this conversation with, with the customer? Is this the director of infrastructure, the networking group, the storage group, as, as we see the consolidation of activities, who's the audience? So I think it depends on what the, what the kind of the story is, obviously. I'm going to give you the it depends answer. <laughs> so um, when you look at, you know, um, when you look at probably uh, data protection, it could be, you know, storage or, you know, backup, you know, type, you know, folks. When you look at, you know, um, you know, servers and hyperconvergence and things like that. It could be server or virtualization teams. Um, it, when you look at, you know, um, a multi-cloud environment, you start to go up that stack. So I think from a Cisco perspective, the, you know, our ability to go up to, you know, and talk to various levels and various groups in a company is really why we're successful. So all the way up to that CXO level. Yeah, Dave, when you talk about customers having a multi-cloud environment, uh, what we find is they want to have that really cloud experience wherever they are. It's, it's really more about that operating model than it is about the destination of it. Um, when I think back to hyperconverged infrastructure, that really was some of the ideas. I want to have some of the same you know, flexibility. Uh, you know, we heard Commvault this week expand their as a service offerings, which get to kind of the purchasing models. Yeah. Hey, bring us inside what, what Cisco's doing with Hyperflex, with Commvault, and you know, what you would call kind of sure. the, the you know, my, my, my own data center that might be yeah. in my own data. Absolutely. Yeah. So when, when we look at kind of data center modernization or that new normal, hyperconvergence is one of the you know, key disruptors in the data center architecture today. And customers are looking for you know, three or four things. They're looking for simplicity, they're looking for consolidation, how do I consolidate compute network and storage, and then how do I have that more um, cloud-like experience that can reduce the complexity of the data center. So 
what we're seeing is, you know, that hyperconvergence market is pretty hot. It's growing at 80% per year. And um, our, our versions of, of that is called Hyperflex. And uh, it, it's focused on running mission critical business applications and that agile pr provisioning that can reduce the complexity. But the nice thing is, is in the next, um, I think in mid-December, we'll have um, integration with um, Commvault's IntelliSnap built into Hyperflex. So you could do snapshotting from Hyperflex. So that, those are some of, the, you know, some of the new things that are, are going to be coming in the next, uh, you know, next couple months. And then we always like to talk about day two operations. What are the concerns customers are having when, when we start to expand out these relationships, these alliances, what are some of the concerns and answers to the concerns that customers are having when it comes to this kind of split mode support? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, so it does, it does introduce a little, some complexity into the, into the discussion, but the things that Cisco does really well is um, we have a couple different offers that we can, we can provide to customers. You know, one is, you know, we'll take the first call. So we can take the first call on a lot of our third party relationships, which is important. And we can also sell a much more detailed solution support kind of a contract where we can, we'll, we'll take you know, uh, second and even third calls you know, on, the whole, on the whole stack basically. So those are some of the things that we offer. I mean, we have a global um, you know, TAC or, or call center. It's, you know, it it follows, uh, follows the sun. Um, you know, it's, it's, first, you know, it's first in class. And so when, we, when, we, when we're able to take those first calls or even do additional kind of services on top of that, that's pretty significant. The other thing is, um, you know, we work with partners. I mean, partners are, uh, you know, probably 90% of our business, and partners provide a lot of services and bring, you know, they're really the glue that brings a lot of these different solutions and vendors together as well. So I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about one of, you know, one of the key, you know, kind of key value propositions of Cisco right now. Yeah, I'd love you to, you know, with Cisco, just the go-to-market power that Cisco and the Cisco channel have are, you know, one of the leaders in the industry out there. I mean, it gives a little more color as we talk to how you get these solutions, joint solutions, out to the marketplace. So, um, so I, I handle actually the whole sol the solutions business for the data center part of the business, and we have lots of partnerships, and we do it a number of different ways. Um, you know, we, from an engineering perspective, we do um, what we call validated designs, where we basically uh, insert best practices, and, and uh, we can help partners and customers with step by step on how to, you know, uh, how to install and implement a solution, you know, with the best practices to ensure optimal performance. You know, we do all kinds of, you know reference architectures, white papers. I mean, there's, there's you know, uh, a, a myriad of you know, engineering work we do. And then from a sales perspective, you know, we obviously work very closely with uh, our partner sales organizations and you know, we're going to go ahead and put together you know, programs and initiatives and, you know, to, go, um, to go out in the market. It might be a competitive takeout, it might be, you know, it might be broader than that. And then we also you know, we'll, we'll probably choose, you know, a, a certain number of channel partners that we want to work with together jointly to go ahead and put programs together and, and drive that go to market out into the, into the uh, customer bases. All right, well Dave, really appreciate all the updates on, yeah. on what you've got here. Congratulations on the, uh, on the updates with Commvault. And Keith and I will be back with more coverage here from Commvault Go 2018 in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching theCUBE.